You know sometimes you pass a tree and you think oh it's just a regular tree? Well I was passing this tree and I was attracted to this flower because it looks so unusual. You don't often see a flower that looks like that. But then while I was looking at the flower I heard something above. A squirrel. And just as I was curious about the flower, the squirrel seemed curious about me. Maybe he thought I had a snack. This tree almost seems enchanted, the way it looks, the way the branches are, the life it carries. How fortunate I was to capture this. And I really wish I had something to give him or her. But I didn't. By the way, squirrels are plentiful in Trinidad. But you don't see them readily because they're all hidden in the trees. Please do not take them as pets. They are wild animals. Let them be free. Just as you like to be free, animals love to be free. They shouldn't be in cages. They are friendlier to humans. And they are very curious about the world around them. But it was time to get back to the tree. I continued to look at it and wondered what it was. Were, were those vines wrapping around the tree? Or was that part of the tree itself? But then I remember I saw a sign by the squirrel and decided to put my lens closer to have a look. It's a cannonball tree. And I'm not going to pronounce that scientific name to embarrass myself. But I will place it here for you to go and look it up. This is the cannonball tree. And you're going to see why it's called the cannonball tree. It bears a fruit. A hard wooden fruit. See it there? They look like wrong cannonballs. And yes, it can be eaten. However, from what I've read, it takes over a year to ripe. And the flesh of the fruit gives off a smell that I guess is not too pleasant. So now you know why probably no one has taken it as yet. And these, what seem to be dying branches or dead branches, are actually part of the tree. What makes this tree significant is the amount of properties it gives. More, both for food, medicinal and religious. That's what it looks like in its entirety. And this is the flower close up. Insects love this flower. Doesn't it give that kind of enchanted feel? I don't know, it looks like something I would read about in a medieval or fantasy book and you may laugh but I have that kind of imagination now I'm not a botanist but from my little research some of the properties this tree gives are considered to be antibiotic antifungal antiseptic and there have even been studies that show it has properties for wound healing 
anti-inflammatory, anti-quorum sensing, an antidepressant, repellent, and many other things. I mean, somebody that I guess is a herbalist or is into alternative medicine may make very good use of a tree like this. I understand the bark itself is also good for the incense that it can give. And the fruit, the shell, can be used to create bowls and any other creative things that could come to your head. Interestingly enough, the tree originated from South America, was taken to India, and in India it was accepted as a sacred tree. But in India, I believe it's called a Nagalinga, or somebody else could better advise. So what do you think about this tree? Let me know in my YouTube channel in the comments area.